My father, T.C. Jones, was a trombone player. I mean, he played at Sweet's Ballroom in Oakland. I used to love to go sit behind the trombone section and watch the sailors dance off to one corner and everyone else simply swirl around. But to make a living, my father worked at Sterling Furniture Company on Market Street. And these were the days when women wore gloves to go downtown and men wore felt hats. My father sold television sets, the very first television sets, on the sixth floor of Sterling Furniture. And these are the days, again, when you'd simply go up there and you'd walk into a small room and there would be this exquisite television set, mahogany, RCA, Zenith. My dad was very good at selling television sets. I mean, he liked everyone. Of course, the store liked him, too. But as I got older, I noticed something. My father that used to stand so tall in these exquisite blue suits and shiny shoes, well, now the suits looked a little bit frayed and the shoes were not quite as shiny. And by the time I had reached high school, my father was on the fourth floor of Sterling Furniture, selling refrigerators. As I became a man with a child of my own living on Stanion Street, my father was in the basement of Sterling Furniture, selling glassware. He had worked at Sterling Furniture for 35 years. I mean, they liked him. They'd simply ask him, Tommy, would you mind working on Saturdays? And my dad worked on Saturdays. Or, Tommy, would you mind talking to the men about not joining a union because we don't need a union here at Sterling Furniture? And the men liked my dad, and he would talk to them, and there'd be no union. And one day they asked my father to come in the office. It's a customary place. He'd always sat down and, and worked with the management of the store, and they had him sit in this traditional chair. He'd always sat in this chair. It was a large leather chair, and they informed my father this day that the store was closing. Now there were no golden parachutes then, or retirement. He was asked to leave that day. Now the younger men were going to Westlake, but he'd be leaving Sterling Furniture. They asked him if they could do anything for him, and my, my father said yes, he, he would like the chair, that large leather chair he'd been sitting in for all those years. They sold my father that chair. He carried that chair up Market Street to my house on Stanion Street and placed it in the middle of my living room. Now, fathers and sons don't talk that much. At least my dad and I didn't talk that much. But on this day, I, I listened. And he told me about all the times he had sat in that chair. And he asked me to keep a promise, never to sit down in that chair not to sit down in life. That chair sits in my living room, and no one is allowed to sit in it. I remember my father, T.C. Jones, trombone player. 